what am I? I am a boy. I am a girl. I am a father. I am a mother. But what am I? I have been the same since my inception. I am a being. I am a human being. But what am I? You were me. Before you were transformed into your present you. No sooner than later you will again be me. What am I? I'm Douglas Engelbert. I made a decision to maximize my contributions to mankind. But what would I do? There were so many complicated problems in the world. Can you tell me what am I? I am Albert Einstein. I couldn't speak until I was three. And I couldn't read until some more years later. But I ended up making a huge contribution to physics and discovered many laws that pertain to it. Would you please tell me what am I? I am Thomas Edison. I managed to make the light bulb, even after over a thousand or better so a countless number of tries, would you tell me what am I? I am Abraham Lincoln. I am Louis Pasteur, Charles Darwin, Henry Ford, Walt Disney, Harrison Ford, Beethoven, many others. I am everywhere. I am on your shelf. I am in your palms. I am on your shoes. I am in and out of your books. I am even scripted in your Bible. You were made for me. You are me. Would you tell me what am I? I am dust. But this flexible brittle block of dust clay never shuts its open on its upper suspended dented globular element, distorting wholesome serenity with its daily yells, yells, screams and squeals, expressing joy, satisfaction, pain and agony. Genesis chapter 2 verse 7 says, And the Lord God formed man out of the dust of the ground. We are not no better than that dust. No wonder when I talk, I talk dust. When I listen, I hear dust. When I think, I think dust. I feel dust moving. I feel that speaking, I feel that standing, I see dust walking, I smell dust, all around me dust, everywhere dust, the earth is filled with dust, dirty dust. And the Lord God formed man out of the dust of the ground. This is enough for me to know what I am. But he breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man the dust became a living soul. Mm. Man was a dead soul, breathless, lifeless, naked, but it's more than the physical, exalting pleasure, eager for leisure, dead to conscience, lacking patience, filled with lust, distrust, unjust, unwilling to adjust. No wonder it's a mass at last, this dust will return to the crust. We are dust kicked off the ground. No matter how long we rise and levitate, we will still return to the earth. Where is the only breath breathed in the nostrils of man? The invisible, odorless, colorless breath, where is it? The cravings of the flesh now is nothing better than the blackish, bluish, stuffy breath they call smoke, part from a highly combustible stick they hail cigarette, lining in the lungs with a black carpet of soot. Oh man, we orchestrate our own death with things that are even rendered useless when wet. The cravings of the flesh now is nothing better than a volatile, pungent liquid which evaporates at the slightest sunlight. Oh dust, we instrument our own demise with things that are easily caught up, consumed, and easily lost in flames. We have rejected the eternal breath of life, breathed into our nostrils by the Almighty, forgetting our vulnerability and diminishing our dignity. O oh, wretched man that we are, who shall deliver us from the body of this death? In the quest for satisfaction, this dusty flesh lost the breath of life and became a dead soul. I know we all point fingers at the first man, but do you know what I'll do? I'm plunging into a new era, and I'm waging war. I'm waging war against this flesh. I will fight you to the latter even to my last breath. I will drain and squeeze you until you are dead dry. I am waging war. I will make you bleed to your last droplet to claim what belongs to me. I am waging war for the new breath. I want to be the someone applauded and rewarded for some work down war than to be a something rejected and tortured for some sins. I am waging war. If anger was your only food, flesh, you would die of hunger. I am waging war. The new breath bets the new bet, and it's nothing less than subjecting this flesh to pain just for a spiritual gain, come sunshine or rain. It is nothing less than depriving it of an unholy orgasm just to make way for the spirit's baptism. It is nothing less than saying no to alcohol and a yes to the master's call. Joel chapter 2 verse 12 says, Therefore also now, saith the Lord, turn ye even to me with all your heart, and with fasting and with weeping and with mourning, and rend your hearts and not your garments, and turn unto the Lord your God, for his gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and of great kindness. That is the war. Wage it.